<laughs> I don't know what that was, but it sounds good, that, that E.
useless unless it's on the floor. I couldn't get the... Nah, forget it. So your story for today is... Okay. I just posted a picture on Facebook. If you don't go to my Facebook site, you're missing out on a lot of crap. Really, a lot of crap. But I posted a picture of uh, us playing oh, Fatal Attraction. I'm pushing that band again because we're I'm re-releasing the album on CD Baby. It'll be out very soon, and it'll have uh, ten or eleven tracks, and it'll it's way this is right from the master. And it's the F and A release was junk, the crappy cover, and a horrible sound because they remastered it. So if you encode something twice, it takes out all the highs and lows, and it sounds like mud. Which they did. F and A is crap, and I'm suing the hell out of F and A Records, and I've got an attorney to back me, and he, uh, not an attorney, an entire firm, was going to take this down because they're ripping off dozens of people. So if any of you out there are signed to F and A and you're having problems, get in touch with me because I'm suing. I'm already on that train. I just haven't sent them the letter yet. <laughs> But they're getting it, and if anybody wants to get on board, feel free. And you know, and do this: if you are signed F and A, get your CD out, get your smart, get your phone or whatever you can. Download the the uh, what you call it, <laughs> the barcode scanner, and scan your CD and see if it comes up yours, because. I never got a letter or anything saying F&A has uh, stopped selling my CD and 
blah blah because I see it still for sale in several different places and it's from them but if you scan the barcode it comes up like another band I can't remember the name right now uh, sticky something and I'm like well that's that's bad real bad for them so yeah my attorney's like yeah we're gonna send them a little letter of a warning and then we're gonna come after them and just take them down because that's not right and they've sold a ton of F uh, fatal attraction and I have gotten zero they still say since 2003 Halloween 2003 when they 2013 for crap sakes when they released it they still say we sold zero even though I have a whole file of people holding up you know their CD you know who you are I got I don't know I, at least a few thousand pictures just in the file so I'll might have to send that to them at some point I don't know but we'll see what happens if you're if you're with FNA let me know but I'm re-releasing it on CD Baby, so that's coming out, and it'll be called uh, Blood Tracks, Fatal Attraction, Blood Tracks. Huh? Hey, if you can come up with a better name, tell me, because I'm the only one running this ship. Nobody else in the band wants to, and if it does sell good, maybe I'll think about putting the band back together, not original members, and go out and, and do it again. I'll just be a Nosferatu looking dude instead of a really cool long hair. Alright, that's it. That's way too long. I'm out of here.